Hi, I'm Alan from Metro Square, and I'll be showing you how to use our artificial intelligence driven plan takeoff tool to digitize your floor plan. Now the way our algorithm basically works is it detects uh, room areas and wall measurements from your drawing, and it actually calculates those uh, areas and perimeters for those individual rooms as well as for the entire floor plan. So the first thing you want to do is have your blueprint image file ready and make sure it's of the three following types. It's either a JPEG, PNG, or PDF. Once you have a, a, that image file ready, go ahead and left click on the green button labeled Upload Plan File. And in the File Explorer, let's go ahead and choose this JPEG file here. And now that we've done that, you'll see your blueprint pop up here in the interface. And what you'll want to do now is you want to set the scale by measurement line. Now what that does is it allows this tool to actually know how long your wall is so that it can actually give an accurate uh, calculation of your area. So I'll click on, left click on set scale by measurement line. I'll go to this doorway here. And a uh, quick note is that if you don't know the dimensions of your floor plan, you can assume that the standard doorways are gonna be three feet wide because that's pretty popular. So now I'll just left click to drop the first point and you'll see this red line here extending and then I'll left click a second time to drop the second point. And I'll just enter in three feet here and click okay. And the tool is processing this file and it worked pretty quickly because this is a pretty uh, small image file. And you can see that it um, actually drew these rooms on top of the blueprint uh, that we selected here. So you can see that there's uh, red lines to indicate the walls. And you can see uh, doorways here indicated by these blue rectangles. And um, if you look at these individual rooms, you can see dimensions uh, of these rooms as well as uh, the areas and perimeters if you mouse over them. Now up top here, you can see the total area of your floor plan as well as the total perimeter. So this is an example of a larger floor plan I've got here. This is actually a medical center. And um, this is a larger plan, so it'll take a little bit longer to process, but it shouldn't take too long, maybe a couple of minutes tops. But you can see it does a pretty good job of drawing all these rooms here. You can see all the areas and perimeters of them. Um, it might miss a few walls here and there, and maybe doorways too, but for the most part, the result is pretty good. So now that you have your digital floor plan, it's pretty cool because you can use it for a variety of different purposes. Uh, if you're a casual homeowner, you can use it to figure out what kind of furniture you can get for your home because you don't want to get something that's too big so that it, like, it won't fit or you can share it with a flooring contractor to get a quote, or uh, use it to inform a bunch of other home improvement decisions. If you really, if you really want to make things interesting, you can, use it, you can use this digital floor plan to create a 3D model of your home by inputting into some, some uh, CAD tool. Now, if you're not a homeowner and you'd like to use this on your website, you can because we have a, a web service API that we can use to integrate this feature into your site or some other third-party application. We've actually had a financial technology company use this to validate a uh, claimed uh, property living area, um, by, and then they would just get a floor plan and double check that area. So this feature is also integrated with uh, our our commercial takeoff software as well. So if you're interested in that, you can go to measuresquare.com and go check out that product. So um, if you go down here, you'll notice here's an email you can go to if you uh, have any questions. And uh, clicking on this button here will take you to a more detailed page about our API web service. So this is if um, you're interested in having it on your website or your application. So if you like this video, um, please click on the red subscribe button and uh, get notified of any other future videos that we do. And thanks for watching.